Part 1. Gripping your spoon properly. 1. Use your dominant hand. Most people use their right hand when reaching for a spoon. However, you want to be able to control your motions carefully. Therefore, it's best to use your dominant hand. Be careful if you're sitting next to someone whose dominant hand is different from your own. Be conscientious of your movements to avoid accidentally knocking elbows with them. 2. Hold the spoon horizontally. You want to hold your spoon horizontally as you move it. This will prevent food from spilling while you eat. Keep your spoon steady with the first knuckle of your index finger and the tip of your middle finger, holding it at a horizontal angle. 3. Rest the handle across your middle finger. Curl your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky fingers inward and lay the handle of the spoon over top the middle finger with the dome of the spoon pointing towards your other hand. Rest the portion of the spoon's handle right before the head on your index finger. Allow the end of the handle to rest on the curve made by your thumb. 4. Hold the spoon in place with your thumb and index finger. Place your thumb and index finger on top of the end of the spoon. Press down on the end so that the spoon is held between the top of your middle finger and your thumb and index finger. This should keep the spoon secure while you're eating and drinking. Part 2. Eating with a spoon. 1. Turn your wrist to dip the spoon. Holding the spoon like this allows you a greater field of motion. When you turn your wrist away from you the spoon will dip downwards into your food, and when you turn it towards you, the spoon will turn back up. This is a more flexible position than if you held the spoon in, say, a fist or between your thumb and index finger. 2. Use the side of the spoon. Bring the spoon to your mouth and eat from the broad side of the spoon rather than the tip. You can use your wrist here to tilt the spoon upwards to aid in eating. 3. Sit up straight when you eat. Although you may be tempted to lean forward while eating soup, it's better etiquette to sit with your back at a 90-degree angle. Instead of bending over, bring the spoon to where you are. 4. Eat slowly and gently. Foods that you eat with a spoon are frequently liquid-based. It is easy to make slurping noises when eating with a spoon. To minimize noise when eating, eat very slowly. Make sure to open your mouth wide enough to get food in without having to resort to slurping. Eating food slowly will also help you best enjoy the taste and texture of your food. 5. Keep your grip firm. Make sure to grip firmly on your spoon when you eat. Keeping a loose grip can cause you to drop your spoon, which can cause a mess and loud noises. Keep your grip firm enough that the spoon does not wobble in your hands while you eat. Part 3. Following proper etiquette. 1. Use your spoon for the right dishes. Spoons are used to eat liquid-based food, such as soups. Spoons are also used to eat mushier, softer foods such as ice cream and mashed potatoes. Use your spoon for these types of foods and avoid using it to eat solid foods. It can be hard to maneuver foods like meats and vegetables using a spoon. 2. Place your spoon on your plate when finished. When you're done, it's customary to set your spoon down on your plate. Always plate your spoon on the plate from which you were eating. If you were eating soup, place the spoon on the plate your soup bowl was resting on. In general, you should not place your spoon back in a bowl when you finish eating. This could confuse waitstaff, as they may think you're still eating. However, if no plate was provided, it's okay to put your spoon back in the bowl. You do not want to get food residue on the table. 3. Do not use your fingers. Never push food onto your spoon using your fingers. This is considered bad table manners. If you have to push food to eat with a spoon, it is probably better to use a fork for this type of food. 4. Avoid pointing with your spoon. Never use your spoon to point at other guests while talking or otherwise gesticulating. Only use your spoon for eating. If you're using your hands to do things like gesticulate while at the table, set your spoon down while doing so.